Okay, guys, so we're about to set up the server on a Netcap provider. Okay, so uh, just follow this and you're gonna be able to set up your own. You can also refer to the description of uh, this video if you want to save big on hosting. I've got an exclusive discount voucher for new clients only on netcap.com. If you're signing up for the first time, don't miss the chance to get the great deal. The voucher code is in the description. Grab it now. So before we start this, you're gonna need to understand that uh, your server comes with uh, Debian by default after they set up your own uh, server or VPS. Okay, so basically what we need uh, to do next is uh, to set up our own OS uh, on choice. If we need, uh, I don't know, Ubuntu or CentOS or something else, you're about to do it. So uh, as presented uh, on the following uh, video. Okay, guys, so uh, here we go. Uh, we're going to be on the overview dashboard once we log in on our account. Okay, we go to SCP Auto Login. Once this uh, page loads, you're going to see your servers right here. Click on the server you need. Uh, as you can see here, we have the media tab on the left side. We're going to go to click it and the DVD drive. We click on that. And here we're going to see the official DVDs. Okay, basically the OS is we need we're gonna go to choice Ubuntu, set boot mode to DVD, put our in password, okay, attach DVD. Once this step is uh, loaded, uh, we need to basically power cycle the server, meaning restart. Okay, so we go to control. Okay, now click the power cycle. So basically what this does is to restart the server, okay? Once we've done this, we go to screen. Basically this will open our uh, remote screen, okay? And click uh, install uh, Ubuntu. From here you can uh, zoom in, zoom out the, the screen. Go with English. We're gonna need to zoom out a bit, okay? And uh, continue with uh, uh, the new installer, okay? Without updating the layout of the keyboard go basically with english here ubuntu server right now we need to uh, to wait for the ip to to be shown okay the scp was loaded and uh, our ip is present there we click uh, basically enter done okay uh, right now we're gonna wait to to test the mirror okay everything go to click done we're gonna use the entire disk here. Uh, you can also go with the custom and uh, I don't know, make it as you wish, okay? So we're gonna click continue. Here we're gonna fill in uh, the screen uh, with the user and password. Okay, here we you can choose Ubuntu Pro if you need. If not, you're gonna go skip for now and continue the screen. Okay, install OpenSSH server. You're gonna need this because other softwares depends on it. So you're gonna need to click that. Okay, you can also import uh, that I have. From here, we can choose the server environments. Uh, I don't know if you need the one, just click it and uh, click done. It will install it. Uh, on your uh, server. I'm gonna go clean uh, install with uh, Ubuntu. I don't need uh, anything from here. Okay. Enter done. Okay. So basically once you click reboot, you're gonna have the server. We need to detach the DVD image. So what we're gonna do is uh, just do that. Okay. Click on media, DVD drive. We're gonna detach the DVD, okay, the, the mounted image. Once this is done, we're gonna go to control and uh, again, the power cycle. Okay, so basically once this uh, reloads, we're gonna go to our screen to access the remote screen, okay. It's a pretty, pretty easy setup. And from here, we're gonna see that uh, our OS was loaded and uh, I'm listing the files here to check. It's everything okay. Thank you guys. See you on next one.